Hey Angie, um, I'm Beth Hartley, I'm Darlene's daughter, and I am doing the video walkthrough for you of our house. Um, so I don't actually live here anymore, but I'm going to give you the tour and kind of give you a sense of what is going on in here. Um, and forgive if you hear notification sounds, my phone is blowing up because, you know, our life is kind of on fire. So, okay, here we go. Um, as you walk in the door, uh, this is our living room. Um, living room usually needs to be done every time, so like vacuuming and stuff. Um, Mom is convinced that the clutter is a problem for you, but it is probably not. You can see over there that we love our cat. There are often uh, cat toys dragged around because she, the cat, tends to drag stuff. Um, you'll be probably doing this before my dad comes back from rehab. Um, his corner is always just kind of a nightmare of like mail and crap, so um, that usually just needs to be straightened. Um, as we go off to the left, you'll see our kitchen. This counter is always covered in stuff, um, but kitchen usually needs doing as well. We just finished having coffee. Um, and so down, this is again more cat stuff. We also have a back porch um, that has tile on the floor. Um, back porch probably doesn't need to happen every single time. It's mostly just pollen uh, and the occasional dead bug. Um, then I'll walk you back through the living room and show you my parents' bedroom. Um, so my parents' bedroom um, looks like this. Um, bed's made, dad's pile of laundry. You might be sensing a theme here, um, but that's what that looks like. And then their bathroom um, usually needs just wiping down. They have this really gorgeous shower with like an extra space back there with plants and stuff. I don't know what that's about, but it's cool. Um, and then my dad's sink, again, the, the more cluttered side. Um, so that's parents' bedroom. Um, back through the living room. Dip, 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 dip. Christmas is still here um, for obvious reasons. Um, there is another bathroom over here. This is our guest bathroom um, where the light switches are weird. Um, there's a, ta a blanket drying in here, but that is a very dark shower, and I don't know how to turn the lights on. <laughs> um, okay, and then my dad's study probably pretty much never gets touched uh, from you guys because it is uh, just sort of as though the University of Wake Forest just barfed all over everything. So that will probably be a space that <laughs> you don't have to worry about because it's, it's sort of all him. Um, down the hallway off the kitchen, uh, looks like this. I will show you my bedroom, um, with the knowledge that I don't live here and I'm living out of a suitcase. So it is the, the worst right now. Typically there's nobody in here really. So it probably doesn't need to be done all that often. Um, bathroom in here, same deal. Like there's, there's a bra hanging on the door. It's kind of a mess right now. Um, but that's what that looks like. Uh, normally it's super neat and clean and, and nobody's really using it unless they have guests. Um, and then this is my mom's study. Alexa, turn on my study. Yeah, my mother's really into tech, so um, there's like lots of beeping and things that happen in our house. But this is her study. She spends a lot of time in here, so that's also a place that um, probably needs a little bit of love. And then just so that you know, like laundry's out in the garage. That's kind of the whole deal. So um, to recap, we've got, let's see, one, two, three. We've got four bedrooms. Only two of them are actually bedrooms. Um and three bathrooms. Um, and again, really only two of those bathrooms are getting used on the reg. Um, mom said that the um, her bedroom, living room, kitchen, and maybe her study are the ones that really need to get touched like regularly. And the other ones she can talk to you about. Um, so I hope that's helpful. I hope I did this right. Um, I appreciate you being so patient. Mom is so thrilled to be working with you. She really, really wants your help. Um, so I appreciate you being so patient uh, as we work through this family crisis and also try to get some help with, um, with our house. So thank you so much. And uh, I'm going to sign off. Let us know if you need any more information.